So How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World picks up a year after the events of Dragon 2. A hiccup and Toothless are both chiefs of their respective tribes. Uh, they've been bringing dragons back to Burke. It's now overcrowded, it's unsustainable, and they really need another option. But when push comes to shove and a, a dark new threat in the form of Grimmel, the grizzly, uh, threatens to trap Toothless and to take down everything that Hiccup loves, he convinces his fellow Vikings to take their dragons and everything they can carry in search of an old mariner's myth of a hidden world beyond the edge of the earth. Should it exist, it could be the answer to all of their problems. But an elusive and wild female variation of Toothless's species creates complications, luring Toothless away um, and forcing Hiccup to really confront his own destiny. So fighting together side by side, Hiccup and Toothless uh, have to do everything they can to defend their way of life and to protect everything that they love. They are really fulfilling a dream of dragons and Vikings living together in peaceful harmony, defending those dragons that need their, their help from enemies and whisking them back to safety. Toothless has the same pressure to live up to in terms of the responsibility of being a chief. Um, and yet they still find time to play with one another and, and you know, go, go flying together. And you know, it's still a boy and his dog relationship. Hiccup's real problem, and one, thing, one that we address in this story, is that he is so reliant upon Toothless that Toothless has become his security blanket. And Hiccup's deep insecurity is that should he ever be stripped of Toothless, he would go back to that, that nuisance Viking of, uh, of movie one where he just couldn't do anything right. His every success is dependent upon Toothless. What he doesn't realize is that Astrid's been growing alongside him. She's been his stalwart companion and supporter through it all. And ultimately, she's the greatest uh, resource and support that he has. Uh, Grimmel is uh, cunning, and he is completely lacking in empathy. He dislikes humans, he dislikes dragons, um, he likes his own notoriety and fame, uh, but that's about it. And uh, he's a character who is conceived to be a strong nemesis for Hiccup in that he's equally intelligent and is somebody who can meet Hiccup on an intellectual level and not just sort of a barbaric brute level. They need to go for Broke in search of this hidden world, which is a mythical land his father talked about when Hiccup was just a boy. If it's true, if it exists, it could be a way of disappearing off the map, away from all of their enemies in this ever-shrinking world, and to find a utopia where they could continue their way of life with their dragons. It was a real challenge, actually, to, to try to get an image on screen that we all felt proud of because uh, we wanted it to feel very unique and like something completely new that we were presenting to our audience. So it's both um, a technical challenge because there were so many dragons and so much light being channeled through difficult um, organic shapes like crystal uh, and also just the vast space. You know, it, it, was, uh, it pushed our technology to the limits. Toothless having a girlfriend is, is a really fun concept for us from the start because it means that he has to figure out how to be a dragon. If he is in fact the last of his kind, that means he probably grew up without the influence of other dragons around him. And he doesn't know how to flirt. He doesn't know how to go through these courtship rituals. Um, and here we have the Light Fury who's, you know, she's been around nothing but dragons and she has no contact with humans. So she's very expectant of a certain uh, decorum and a certain knowledge of how to go about these things. Only Toothless is a complete amateur. Worse, he relies upon Hiccup for advice on how to, you know, <laughs> do the, uh, the, the courtship ritual dances, for example, and it's a disaster, of course. Uh, he's a bumbling fool through his first date and it only continues from there. But it's, they're all tiny steps, tiny steps on the way to becoming um, a mature male dragon who knows what to do in these situations.
Hey guys, did you know that the top five most expensive movies ever made are Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens at number five, Avengers Age of Ultron at number four, Pirates of the Caribbean at the World's End at number three, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides at number two, and coming in at number one is Avatar. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side if you want to watch another video.